Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today we've got a very special one of 50 custom shop Martins on my lap. Now this is actually a D28 featuring a really, really awesome set of Adirondack spruce. But what makes this one special is check out this Brazilian rosewood. It's got this very lovely milk chocolate color to it. Um, and, and it gets darker throughout the center here, which they chose to go ahead and do one of those um, really elaborate back strips here to kind of separate that through. Um, now it also is bound all the way around with ivory binding with a black, white, black purfling scheme throughout it. Now, as you turn it around, it actually has a herringbone um, purfling on the inside of this ivoroid binding here. Um, now, it does have an ebony bridge, but it's actually wide spec here. So it's actually two and five sixteenths down here at the saddle. And as you get into the neck here, um, it's a little wider too. It's actually 1.77 or 45 millimeters, which is kind of one of my favorite ones. It's, it's a great middle road between uh, one and three fourths and one and 25, 30 seconds. Now this is a little different than a lot of the Martins I've played as they're calling this their low oval neck shape. So it's a, it's a very shallow C. So it's almost flat on the back rather than having that protruding V. Um, and I find that this works really well for finger style because you can plant your thumb directly in the middle of it and be able to spread around comfortably without sliding around with your thumb. Um, now it does have a diamond back with a volute that's higher up than where the nut is. So it really doesn't get in the way. You can do really low chord shapes without any sort of uh, stoppage or cumbersome elements there. So it has some um, Scheller Grand Tune tuners here with some ebony buttons that are open poured that feel really lovely. Now the headstock actually has an ebony head plate with a really really colorful abalone torch inlay here. Now on the fretboard, there's also some abalone dots going up the, the fretboard to the 15th fret. Now enough about how good it looks. It's a hoss. The Adirondack provides a lot of power combined with this Brazilian. It's actually got lots of, lots of overtones that just sing right out. And I think one of the things that helps kind of make it sound as immediate and open is the fact that on this run, they did a forward shifted X that's also scalloped. So you can either play it hard or soft and kind of get about the same kind of tone, which is really great because the harder you play it, it doesn't really break up tonally. It just gets louder but you can play it nice and gentle and soft and it just sounds right there in your face. Now it is, it is a big guitar, it's, it's a full D and it feels like it could almost be five inches at the tail block here. So it pushes a lot of air, but you don't necessarily have to push it. You can, again, play it nice and, nice and gentle and get a lot of juicy tone out of this one. Now, if you've got any other further questions about this, number 40 of 50 of this limited run D28, message alan at cedarrockstudio.com, and thanks for listening.